bench. Doncic crashes into Rondo and is called for the offensive. Oh, he like it. And then Pat Beverly gets in his grill, and here we go. And, and just like we talked about, Luca just smiling about it. That's what you got to do. That's what Patrick Beverly is out there for. He's out there just to kind of get under people's skin, get in the fray. But ultimately, like Russell Westbrook says, sometimes he might be out there trying to trick y'all that he's out there playing defense. He's just out there running around doing a bunch. Those aren't those are Westbrook words, not mine, Pat. Irving pumps it away. Good hands from Kyrie Irving, and then Beverly and Harden, former teammates in Houston, shove each other. That was a hard foul from Beverly that Harden took exception to. Hard foul? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Mike's got us all. The steal. And a reach-in foul call on Reggie Jackson. Oh, excuse me, on Beverly. So Beverly is, he wants to do, trying to get under your skin. <laughs> Beverly with his first. And he's well aware of what he's doing. <laughs> no, but, okay, so we give Avery Bradley a technical foul, and this isn't? You're absolutely I, right. This is, I just. Just the consistency. You want the consistency on that. by James. James charging up the floor and Jermichael Green tries to put a stop to it. And some extra late whistle activity. Patrick Beverly and Rajon Rondo. Oh, it's actually LeBron James and Patrick Beverly. Rondo going over to James. If they take a look at it, I believe they'll, they'll either be a double technical or LeBron will be hit with a technical. The foul is on Jermichael Green. Also, pushing and shoving is fine now. First free throws of the day. Missed them both. Rebound knocked around. Nurkic got a hand on it. Shamit controls. And it's going the other way. With 15.5 on the clock, Lillard just missed on a pair of free throws with his team down by one. And now Jermichael Green will head to the stripe. Lillard, an 87% free throw shooter, missing those. This was after the Lillard miss. Morris and Beverly reacting. <laughs> I mean, Patrick Beverly's not playing, but he's still enjoying himself. Yeah, just don't get hurt over there, Pat. I mean, you know, you're out with an injury, and now you're falling off the, you know, tape. And why has Beverly got the shoe and walking the other way with it? And that's a tactical or a delay of game on Patrick Beverly. You're not surprised, are you? Yeah. He picked it up and he took it and walked towards the Clippers bench. What is he doing? I have no idea. So that's on the sideline. Yeah. I wonder how, did, how did Beverly get to shoot? You got it. Drew Holiday gets the free throw. I don't know if Beverly thought he was being cute or not, but it doesn't work. Well, right there, Alvin has the shoe. Yeah, Beverly came across the half-court line. He was walking back with it. Right. Because so, he was going to check into the game, which he is in now. So he picked it up. The right back. Red elbow. And beat down low in the foul. Beverly was not afraid of anybody. And beat wants him. His teammates break him up. <laughs> now he plays in the crowd. Uh, and Bede's night might be over after that. Man, oh man. Let's see what him, when Bede was that a punch or just over seven feet tall, uh, over 260 pounds. A lot of guys take exception to the extracurriculars on plays of Patrick Beverly, but you're right. Warriors up 10. The matchup of Patrick Beverly and Kevin Durant job is to frustrate, try to irritate, trash talk. At the end of the day, both guys have tremendous respect. Would have been just a tech on Durant by going towards Beverly. But once Beverly gets up and does his part, then that's both guys.
uh, I would say this going into game two if I'm one of the referees I'm setting the tone right away Give to give my Scott a chance to shoot the basketball and knock down that three. Good. Beverly and Curry going nose to nose. Patrick Beverly, he gets in people's heads. <laughs> Beverly harassing Curry. Beverly, a very physical defender, and his call for the foul. And this is what Beverly likes to do play very physical. It's been called. The players at his position, but he's very physical. See, Beverly reached in after the whistle. Curry objected to that. There's nothing there, though. That, that was initiated to me by Curry. Anything wide open. That's his first basket of the game. And Scott Brooks wants to call a timeout, and Beverly again in Westbrook. They've got a history of this. Beverly tried to steal the ball. Westbrook took exception to it again. And a scuffle breaks out. Now they're trying to break it up. There it is right there as Westbrook. Gets ready to call a timeout, and Beverly comes over and knocks the ball away. Now, they called a technical foul. Loving moments like this defensively. This is, when you from Chicago, now they're having words. I love it. Mm -hmm. Why? Houston, so cold in the third, has gone six of seven to <laughs> this fourth quarter. Oh, this is great. Oh, 